Hello, I'm Mark Franklin, and welcome to another Vintage Tech Talk. In today's talk, we are going to be talking about a deck that I didn't even know existed until a, about a year or so ago. This is a TIAC V800G-F Hi8 Professional Deck. One of the reasons I probably didn't realize this deck existed was because it's not a normal professional or even consumer uh, Hi8 deck. This deck uh, from TIAC, which is the actually consumer division of the Tascam Corporation, Tascam puts out the professional audio gear and TIAC generally the consumer audio gear. However, in this case, TIAC made a professional Hi8 deck for the aviation industry. Now, when I first heard that it was for the aviation industry, I thought, okay, this deck is used to play back movies on airplanes. Back in the days before we had video on demand on airplanes, they generally had a VCR or two on the aircraft that would play back a tape, and everybody basically had to watch the same movie. So I figured this was one of these decks, and from the look of the front of it, you think, okay, that could be. But as I did some more checking and talked to some more people who had some familiarity with this, that wasn't the case. These decks were actually used by the American Air Force to play back surveillance tapes from reconnaissance planes. So basically a plane would fly over a, an area and be recording to high 8 tapes and they'd bring back the tapes to their base and they would review them on this machine. Given now that we now have some background into this machine, let's go take a look. You've got the standard play, stop, record, fast forward, rewind, pause, and then over here you have a combination jog and shuttle. Let's actually one, the jog's on the inside and the shuttle is on the outside. Over here you have the display and some control buttons. And here you have four view meters for the various audio channels. This is a tape with just AFM audio. So it's showing up here on the AFM meters. Here you can see that there's four channels of audio, the PCM and AFM. That's for compatibility whenever you basically record something on a deck with PCM. Uh, it's going to do a backup AFM recording also. Here on the rear panel, we have the video in and out, S-video in and out, composite video in and out, and we have the audio in and out. Here we have the digital PCM, ins, out, and analog AFM, hi-fi, in and out. This is control P, that was, you could either have a foot switch or there were some edit editing controllers that used it back in the 1990s, I believe. While the machine is heavy in and of itself, it's pretty empty, but it's pretty solid because I guess it's made for military use. This is a big open area here where I guess some, most of the processing is done. Under this plate is the transport. Now, what this metal plate does, it protects the transport from getting any external noise from other parts of the VCR. And it actually does work. I've actually run some tests with and without this plate in it. If you're buying one of these, and I've seen them in lots of different states, some with almost everything except this plate, make sure you get a plate for it. If not, it's not too difficult to fabricate one from some scrap metal. If you can find some aluminum or tin that's thin, get a piece of metal and cut it to match and just fit it in right here and get some screws. This board is made by a company called Future Video, which in the 1990s, they used to make some editing controllers. 
uh, that were pretty basic. If you wanted to edit with a couple prosumer SVHS decks uh, or high 8, 8 millimeter video 8 decks, I did contact the uh, company called Future Video that makes the 9-pin board. The 9-pin board option on the deck is only used by the people in the Air Force using these decks for playback of surveillance tapes. It is not compatible with editing controllers. I did try it. No luck. It's a pretty decent deck. Uh, I don't like it as much as the Sony. The Sony has uh, a bit more solid of a transport. It has the XLR in and out for audio. It's got monitor in and out. One other thing I don't like about this deck is the counter will turn even if the tape is blank. This is a blank tape. It's a blank tape with no recording on it, so it shouldn't be counting. So I don't know how it's counting, but it is. So therefore, you can't use this machine to tell how long a recording is on a tape because it's just going to count everything no matter what. There's no uh, RC time code or any sort of time code on this deck. So my final thoughts on the TEC V800G-F is that it's a good deck. Is it as good as the Sony over here? Not so much, but it's still a very good and usable deck if you need a high 8 deck uh, to play back some of your older things. Quality, I'd say it's about 90-95% of what the Sony is. And I don't think you're going to see much of a difference visually on the screen. But functions is where the Sony really outdoes this machine. But overall, if you can get this at a good price, it is a good playback deck. Again, if you can get a hold of the Sony, it's better. But this is also a really decent deck. Occasionally, I do have tapes for whatever reason don't play in the Sony and I will use this deck to play it back. Overall, if you can get a good deal on it, it's a good deck to use. Uh, if you have the money, get the Sony. Mm -hmm.